Uh, let's move on to mobile phones and driving. Laws against using a mobile phone while driving are to be strengthened. At the moment, motorists are banned only from texting or making calls. But from next year, it'll also be illegal to take photos, to play games or to scroll through playlists while driving. If you didn't realise that was not illegal right now, then you may not be alone in that. Maybe you thought you weren't supposed to touch your phone at all. Well, it turns out that's not quite the case. Joining me on the programme, Nick Friedman, criminal defence lawyer known as Mr Loophole and author and commentator. Good to have you back on the programme. Good morning. Good morning, Vanessa. I haven't spoken to you for a long time. Now, I think some people think, maybe most people think, you're just not meant to touch your phone at all while you're driving. In fact, while the car's ignition is on, you have no business touching it if you don't want to end up in trouble with the law with a few penalty points and possibly a ban and a great big fat fine and all of that. But actually, it turns out it's not nearly as cut and dried as that. Well, well it isn't cut and dry, but you're actually right. You shouldn't touch your phone at all whilst driving because... What we're talking about here is a very specific piece of legislation. This legislation came in in 2003. Mm -hmm. And if you go back 16, or what, say 18 years now, isn't it? The, the phones did not perform in the same way that they do now. So all Parliament was concerned with when it bought this legislation, it was to stop people using phones. And basically all people did on phones was speak, um, have a conversation or send texts. Mm -hmm. and, that, that, and that, of course, is what's called an interactive communication. Um, so that so the, the law as it currently stands, this specific law yes. outlaws interactive communication. So the, there's a whole host of other activity that you are actually allowed to do, so long as it doesn't cause you to be involved in an accident. So when you say actually the best advice is don't use your phone, mm. I would completely agree with that. Yes, because what what people don't realise is. They'll use the phone, they think, well, it, it's hands-free, I'm OK, mm -hmm. or I'm using my sat-nav, that's perfectly permissible. Mm -hmm. They're then, God forbid, involved in a serious accident, and they're looking at causing serious injury by dangerous driving and looking at a lengthy custodial sentence. So it, 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 it isn't cut and dry, and what the government are trying to do is outlaw all use of mobile phones per se. Uh, that in itself is a good thing. Um, that's something to be welcomed, because at the moment it's very hard for mm -hmm. the prosecution to prove um, particularly when it's not normally a police officer who stops someone, that the person, the defendant, was actually engaged in an interactive communication. They have to prove that beyond reasonable doubt. And it, it's a hard threshold. Normally you need the, the phone bill, you need to interrogate the phone, or you need an admission. Mm. And often most cases come to court now not through the police, but through vigilante cyclists. Mm. So, so, so that, that, that's a huge problem which this legislation will um, we'll deal with. The other problem, of course, is enforcement. Yes. Um, and I I if there are no police on the roads, you can't rely on members of the public um, to, to shop people who are using mobile phones, particularly as they won't be allowed to use their mobile phones to shop other people because they'll be guilty themselves. Well, so that is, that's, that's a huge problem. And in my view, when you're using a mobile phone, the level of distraction is the same as drink driving. Uh, and it's a perverse anomaly, in my view, that when you get convicted of using a mobile phone, it's six points. When you're convicted of drink driving, it's a 12-month ban, minimum period. Mm. If you had parity of sentencing and said to people who attempted to use their mobile phones, you would be disqualified for a minimum period of 12 months. I think that's a sentence that will police itself, and that would help the fact that our police, our streets are basically devoid of police officers, um, certainly on road traffic duties, and, and people might then not be so tempted to have a go. Um, so that, that's the situation we're in. Yes, the change in legislation is good, but it needs enforcement. And without police, it, it's not going to be enforced. And I don't think it's going to make much difference. So there will be people listening right now who are only going where they're going, courtesy of their sat-nav. They've got it propped up yep. in one of those special holder things. And, yep. you know, if you, if you said you can't use that while you're, while you're driving, they'd, they'd be lost, utterly lost. Of course, our, yep. our, our knights and ladies of the road and our black cabs have done the knowledge, but nobody else has. And nobody else knows how to find anything anymore. So will you still be able to use the sat-nav on your phone after the law is changed or not? Absolutely, but it's got to be in a cradle. Uh huh. Okay, but okay. obviously everybody and, and knows you. Kind of people usually kind of flick no, it and have a you know no, have a look at it. No, You're not allowed to touch no, it. Not allowed to touch it. You can touch it in a cradle if it's in your hand for any period of time. Mm -hmm. you, you fall foul of the legislation. Um, right. so, so does this so mean no. your work is made it, when the law changes? Your work is made easier, or your your work is made more difficult, Nick? Well, cynical people might suggest that this is a loophole that's going to be closed. Um, <laughs> And, you know, I, I, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a defence lawyer, but I welcome any proposal that makes our roads safer. That, that's really what it's about. Um, so, it, you know, when, when you're talking about people are very relaxed. The reason there's this consultation at the moment and the, this new legislation is proposed is because the drivers are so relaxed 
about being connected. That is a priority rather than the dangers posed by using the phone. And that's a perverse situation, isn't it? And it's something that we need to, we need to put the brakes on. It needs to be reversed. And, and this legislation goes some way to achieving that. But we need a penalty that's commensurate with the level of distraction. So, um, yeah, if it means less work, so be it. If it makes our roads safer in the meantime, that's something to be welcomed. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Nick Freeman there, criminal defence lawyer known as Mr Loophole. And I want